Hi, I'm Tom C. with Christian Bisco. On this episode of Best of America by Horseback, we're continuing our visit to Clay County, Missouri, the birthplace of outlaw Jesse James. We will ride with the Kearney Saddle Club who help maintain the horse trails at Smithville Lake and we'll visit the Northland Therapeutic Riding Center to see how horses play an integral part in improving the quality of life for those with special needs. We'll also take a look at other historic and fun places you can visit while you're here in Clay County, Missouri. So sit back and relax and watch another episode of Best of America by Horseback. We'll be right back. On this episode of Best of America by Horseback, we are trail riding at Smithville Lake as we continue with part two of our visit to Clay County, Missouri. Last week, we showed you highlights of the annual Jesse James Festival, which is held on the third weekend of September each year. Clay County is the birthplace of the famous outlaw Jesse James, and his family home is being preserved by the county. Best of America by Horseback was invited to ride on the Jesse James farm and tour Jesse's boyhood home. They also participated in the huge parade and were invited to be part of the grand entrance and kickoff to this year's rodeo at Jesse James Park. As part of the festival, Clay County held a trail ride with Best of America by Horseback at the Crows Creek Campground at Smithville Lake Park. This county park has a large lake with boating and fishing opportunities, RV campgrounds, and a separate equestrian campground with hookups, stall barn, and horse trails that go right beside this beautiful lake. Clay County Commissioner Luann Ridgeway rode with us over the weekend and talked with Kristen about Smithville Lake Park as well as other interesting locations in the county. Tell us about um, Smithville Lake and how it came about. I believe it wasn't always a lake here, so. It was not always a lake here. You're probably sitting in some of Missouri's um, good farm country, but in the 60s, they started planning for this flood control lake. In the 70s, it continued to progress. By 1980, the lake that you see here in front of you was filling up and by 1981, it was full and in use. So it, it is a flood control lake, but tremendous recreation. And just as soon as the lake was plotted out, people already started working on the trails. Smithville Lake is a 7,000 acre reservoir that supplies Smithville, Plattsburgh, and Kansas City, Missouri with their water supply. It was built and administered by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers of Kansas City for flood control in 1977. The park offers over 26 miles of equestrian trails, mixed with fields, lakeside, rolling and flat terrain, along with walking and hiking trails. Deer, turkey, bald eagles, golden eagles. Of course, you're gonna see a lot of wildlife. We've also been working closely with Missouri Department of Conservation and the Army Corps of Engineers to reinstitute a lot of our native prairie grasses and native wildflowers here. We also have shared use with the farmers, which of course is very attractive to the wildlife. And so you see lots of beautiful views with that. You're also going to see small waterfalls. You're going to see uh, rock embankments along our horseback riding trails. So it, it really is a varied environment um, that people will have a lot of opportunities to see different things. Uh, the biggest improvement that we have is now we have a livestock pavilion that can actually be used for many different uses. It's a multi-purpose building. It was designed as such. Right now we have it set up for stables and that will continue to stay that way so uh, equestrian travels know that they can come and have a state-of-the-art facility that's probably the, one of the best facilities in the Midwest to be able to overnight your horses for the, you know, it's a roof over their head, they can be in dry stalls. It's a pretty nice big stall too. Yeah, it's a 12 by 12 stall and so we do have options available and we're continuing to work to see mm -hmm. if we can turn our 20 horse barn into some instances maybe a 40 horse barn yeah. because if you've got stable buddies the stalls are big enough that you could put two horses in one stall. You can have panels and tie outs and we also have uh, very large posts in the ground for people who are used to picketing their mm -hmm. horses. We have that as an available option. If people want to come here for the day there's there's free parking available at a location called Jackrabbit Bend and that's very conveniently located because if you go more southwest from Jackrabbit Bend, you're on the, the wider, a little more improved um, county maintained trails. Mm -hmm. 
we have miles of those. But if you go back toward the east, you're on trails that are largely maintained by volunteers, but expertly maintained. Mm -hmm. And there's miles and miles of trails that are on Army Corps land that go to the east that have, again, beautiful views of the lake as well as woodland views. It is absolutely essential for us to have the volunteer effort that we do. We couldn't even begin to have the miles and miles of trails and certainly not the beauty, beauty of the trails um, that we do uh, without the volunteer effort. I mean, there's an army of volunteers that not only spend their time, but their resources, their equipment, their talent, their, th their thought and planning. And so it has been critical and, and um, without, for example, the Kearney Saddle Club, mm -hmm. home of Jesse James, Kearney, Missouri, without the Kearney Saddle Club, it would be virtually impossible for us to have a total of 37 miles and still growing. It's an important, um I guess aspect you picked up on there with saddle clubs volunteering their time to the local trails so that they have trails to ride on and other people can come into the area and enjoy the trails. Um, as far as the saddle club is concerned, they, they come out and help maintain trails. Do they have certain uh, scheduled times that they come out? The, the volunteers are pretty much in control of coordinating their own schedule. Mm -hmm. And they also have an agreement with the Army Corps of Engineers, which has been a tremendous partner to us in all of this. It's, it's a perfect example of a multi-jurisdictional partnership as well as public-private partnership to maintain all of these trails and the beauty of them for people to enjoy. If you're looking to diversify your camping experience, there is also a marina with boat and slip rentals, two public swim areas with beaches, three disc golf courses, and even areas to hunt and fish, and two public golf courses. Hunting can take place on more than 7,000 acres of wildlife management area that is available for hunting during the appropriate seasons. Fishing can be done anywhere there is water access, even off the side of the trails. And the lake is home to a number of species of fish, including largemouth bass, blue catfish, walleye, and bluegill, to name just a few. Stay tuned for more from Crows Creek Campground at Smithville Lake in Clay County, Missouri. We'll be right back. One of the things that's really important is, yes, we're set up to receive the you know equestrian travelers and we love having horses here, but if you do have people in your party that don't ride horses, there's tons of activities right here with, within minutes. Uh, we have hiking and biking trails, um, we have wooded trails, we have lake view trails as you can see from over my shoulder. But the other thing also is we're only minutes from the Kansas City metro area, so you can be here and have peace and quiet and enjoy the outdoors, but also if you want to take your car in and go to a professional baseball game or football game, we have that also. Uh, we have lots of amenities around here, great restaurants. Um, Justice Drugstore Restaurant is right here in downtown Smithville. We have winery tours, the Great West uh, nor Northwest Winery Tour that's here with Ladoga Ridge Winery right here in Smithville. So we have plenty of activities to do in addition to all the beautiful trails. The Northland Therapeutic Riding Center is a therapeutic nonprofit organization founded in 2000 for individuals in need of therapeutic riding and hippotherapy. The Riding Center has the goal of improving the quality of life for persons with special needs and can be a benefit to people with special challenges such as Down syndrome, autism, muscular dystrophy, cerebral palsy, blindness, deafness, as well as social and behavioral challenges.
The NTRC has a number of programs that not only benefit people with special needs, but also the elderly, military servicemen and women, and individuals who suffer from stress or chronic and persistent conditions. Each year, volunteers donate more than 4,700 hours to NTRC. Bud Wackerly, who rode with Tom on the Mexico to Canada trail ride, is a member of the Kearney Saddle Club, and he is a volunteer at Northland. He brought us here knowing these folks would impress us with their dedication. When Tom's friend Bud Wackerly mentioned that we were going to visit the local therapeutic riding center that he was involved with, I thought about all the years of volunteer service that I did throughout all four years of high school. I was so excited to see another center whose focus was on therapeutic riding and how they set up their programs to benefit their students. Memories flooded back from those students who I was honored to help on the levels they needed, to watch them grow in the four years I worked with them, and to improve both their needs and as a rider. People who love horses know how healing they can be, from something as simple as the smell of a horse to riding them into the beautiful countryside. There is a mental healing that horses offer to their riders. Along with the mental healing, there is a list of other benefits that make horses perfect for a therapeutic riding or hippotherapy. Students learn balance, coordination, and attention. It can give them an opportunity to improve their motor skills as horses have a similar walking motion to humans, which can possibly help riders learn to walk. Therapeutic riding can also help students mentally. The lessons help create empathy or emotions where students may not have been able to express them before because of strong emphasis of keeping the horses the same and the volunteers the same for particular students as they are able to make connections with them. It can also provide independence and confidence. In turn, the horses seem to understand and know they're helping to create bonds and to heal. To learn more about Northland Therapeutic Riding Center, to volunteer or to donate, you can visit their website at northlandtrc.org or call them at 816-808-1209. You can also follow them on Facebook at Northland Therapeutic Riding Center. While visiting Clay County, you may want to visit some of the other many interesting and fun local sites. The park is easily situated so that the popular destinations are only a short drive away. After visiting the Jesse James Farm and Museum in Kearney, you may want to stop by the cellar and loft on Jefferson Street. This wine club has a knowledgeable staff, offers tastings of wines and spirits. They also serve a variety of food. If you are a history buff, in addition to visiting the Jesse James Farm in Kearney, Excelsior Springs, the site of Mineral Water Springs, thought to have medicinal qualities, were responsible for putting this small town on the map. The Hall of Waters was built in 1937 to supposedly be the largest health resort in the United States with the world's longest water bar, where tourists could enjoy calcium water, saline water, sodium water, and iron manganese water, hot or cold, from the tap. The Regal Elms Hotel and Spa was also started with the discovery of the Healy Mineral Waters in Excelsior Springs in the late 1800s. In the 20s and 30s, Kansas City and the surrounding region was under control of crime boss Big City Tom Pendergast, and during this time, the Elms prospered as a speakeasy of which Al Capone was a frequent visitor. In 1948, Harry S. Truman spent his election night in the hotel to avoid attention being drawn to his home in Independence after his predicted victory. The morning after, he received news that he had won. 
A number of activities have taken place throughout the history of the hotel, from Jack Dempsey using it as a training camp to New York Giants using it as a summer camp. The Elms has been a sought-after destination for over 125 years. In Liberty, you can visit the Jesse James Jail and Bank Museum. It is the site of the first daylight bank robbery in peacetime. The Belvoir Winery, located in the former Oddfellows home, has become one of the best unique and historical wedding locations in the Kansas City area. It is open seven days a week for free wine tastings and allows visitors to view all of the historic features and artifacts the building has to offer. can take the kids and enjoy a day of fun at Worlds of Fun in nearby Kansas City. The amusement park offers rides and attractions for the entire family as well as a water park. ROKC, Kansas City's premier indoor climbing facility, is a state-of-the-art facility capable of teaching and challenging individuals of all ages and abilities. The Atkins Johnson Farm and Museum in Gladstone is one of the oldest continuous occupied homes in Clay County. The farm utilizes 100-year-old heirloom seeds to grow food on a small scale using open pollination and traditional techniques. Their heritage garden contains heirloom vegetables, herbs, and flowers from before 1900. Here in Smithville, just a few minutes from the park, our visit to Nellie's Sweet Shop had us drooling over all of the delicious looking treats. The store makes everything from homemade fudge, candies, chocolates, taffy, to ice cream. Just one block down is the Justice Drug Store, one of the finest restaurants in the Kansas City area. These historic and fun attractions, plus many more around Clay County, Missouri, are just minutes from the Crows Creek Campground at Smithville Lake. Conveniently located between Interstates 29 and 35, Smithville Lake is a great vacation destination you can visit with your horse. The next time you are traveling across country, plan a stopover at this beautiful county park, centrally located in the middle of the country. You will want to stay more than just one day to ride the trails. Enjoy the lake. Visit the area. Or even catch up on laundry or just relax with your favorite fishing pole. It's one of the nicest county parks anywhere in the country. For more information on camping and riding at Smithville Lake in Clay County, Missouri, you can log on to claycountymo.gov or you can call the park at 816-407-3400. For more information on the annual Jesse James Festival in September, you can log on to jessejamesfestival.com. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Best of America by Horseback as much as we've enjoyed being here in Clay County, Missouri. Kristen, if people want to join us for future rides to ride with us or see where we're going to be, how do they get information on the rides? Visit our website, bestofamericabyhorseback.com, and click on the Rides and Events tab to see all of our upcoming locations where you can join us. Also, be sure to follow all of our fun on Facebook, Best of America by Horseback. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.
Back at the event venue, East Fork Stables. Have you ever been to Racking on the Edge? The Highlands and the Dream Business. Air conditioned Ridge Top Horse Trails. Out your back door, Tennessee. Four beautiful seasons. A short, often warm winter. No state income tax. Low property taxes. The Highlands or White Oak. Enough said. Thanks.